evaluating several of the more interesting data anomalies from the pandemic-induced shutdown. First, the index of hourly wages increased to an 8% inflation rate from 3% earlier in the year. Wage inflation? Not really. When millions of lower paid workers lose their jobs, they are no longer included in the wage calculations. So the weighted average tilts toward higher paid workers. Even if everyone received the exact same wages as the previous month, the wage index goes up. There is no wage inflation. For our second example, we look at the savings rate. The savings rate went from 8% earlier in the year to 33%. Wow, why did the savings rate soar? Well, various government transfer payments to individuals were received. Those are the checks that were sent to individuals and then there were increases in unemployment insurance. Personal income went up. But during the pandemic induced shutdown, there were not as many places to spend money and many individuals in these tough times wanted to save every penny they could. Expenditures went down. So if personal income goes up and expenditures go down, well, the savings rate soared very careful interpreting data during this pandemic era. We are far from equilibrium and there are many data anomalies that need special consideration. I'm Blue Putnam, Chief Economist, CME Group.